Hello, guten Tag, and welcome to the first episode of Project Athena. During this series, I will be attempting to create a KOS script to fly back spent stages to the launch site. This will happen in short, irregular episodes. The first one you see here is getting started with a simple suicide burn. Every episode, I will be adding one new feature explaining the code and the math behind it. This episode will be focusing on the basic infrastructure, a straight ascent, descent and a dumb suicide burn. The booster is not yet steering, just pointing straight up and thus naturally drifting a bit off course from the launch pad. The initial thrust up also consists of only 4 seconds of full throttle. What do I mean by a dumb suicide burn? Well, the booster is basically deciding based on Newtonian physics when to ignite for braking and then shutting down when its vertical velocity gets greater than zero, independently of how high it is above the launch pad. This is working great in some cases like this, but not so much in others. We will get into that later. At this point you are hopefully wondering how the code works, so let's have a look at that. Here it is, we are now gonna go through it line by line. The script first does some setup. The first line says the coordinates of the landing site for the rocket to aim it. This is not really relevant as such yet, but will become in the future. Right now we only need the altitude. The second line calculates the offset between the calculated ground altitude and the altitude of the vessel above sea level, because the controller is not the very bottom of the rocket. The third line creates the variable HD, which is repeatedly being updated to the altitude of the bottom of the rocket above the launch pad. This is what the lock operator does. It calculates the altitude above the launch pad and subtracts the previously calculated offset. We are now in the countdown phase. This is just KOS weird version of a for loop, which prints the time every one second. For the launch it throttles up, points perfectly up, stages and prints launch into the terminal. After 4 seconds it shuts down its engine, prints that into the terminal and just coasts until apoapsis. So it is time for the suicide burn, but to understand that it has to be math time. As you can see we are starting out with one of the basic kinematic equations. V0 is our velocity at the beginning of the acceleration, V is the velocity at the end of it, which we want to be 0 so we can just leave it out of the equation for now. Delta x is actually negative because we are falling, but negative delta x is the altitude at which we have to start burning. The acceleration has two components, the thrust and gravity, we will neglect friction for now. So how do we write that in KS? Well, we wait until our altitude is less than half of the vertical velocity of the ship squared divided by the acceleration due to thrust, which is the force due to thrust divided by the vessel's mass, and subtract gravity. This here is just the distance the vessel travels in one KOS tick, so we don't start burning too late. We turn on RCS to keep steady during that phase, turn on the engine, point perfectly up and deploy the gear if it is not yet. We assume we have touched down once we stop descending. We turn off the engine and prevent it from turning on by itself once the script stops. As a final step, we turn off RCS. Then the script is done. Did you like this episode? If so, take a look at the forum thread, the GitHub repository, or subscribe to watch future episodes. With that, thanks for watching. Auf Wiedersehen.